senior night, last game for Loyola. You know we gotta go out and stop. Today is prom, we weren't sure if we were gonna get one, so I'm gonna probably pull up to the prom. It'll be clean. It's wild just to think about how fast time has gone. It feels weird. I mean, it's just like, man, can we get a do-over? I feel like we got cheated out of one year. Today I'm gonna be on Access Hollywood. We also got the premiere later on tonight. Packing all my stuff up right now. I gotta decide what I'm gonna take with me and what I'm going to leave behind. I can remember being 10 years old thinking, dang, I hope I can go to USC. Now it's time. Senior night, last game for Loyola. You know we gotta go out in style. Playing for four years now since freshman year, and you know we've gone through a lot of struggles, and now we're getting the chance to battle it out for the league championship. Presby is a team that we haven't played in a while, so it's an important game for us as well. Up 14-0 on two possessions, we're feeling it. First play of the second quarter, Braden gets it to Peter and he's gone. 21-0. We're starting to light it up. Crespi sets up the punt, the kick it to Peter, he makes the guy miss and takes it all the way to inside the five. Once we're inside the five, we give it to Tosh. No way we should lose this game. Crespi finally starts getting in rhythm and moving the chains. Second and six, Patrick gets a huge sack for us. There's nothing better than getting a shutout on defense. We start out on our 19, Braden throws it to Peter, Peter breaks a tackle, Jacoby comes out of nowhere and makes a great block, Peter's gone, touchdown, 35-0. Peter's been going off all season. He has two touchdowns so far tonight, and he's looking to get his third. He's not even a senior. Where's my touchdown? During halftime, my coach came up to me and he was like, do you want to play the rest of the game? And I was like, yes, you know? Like, I don't want to go out. This is it. 41-0 on senior night. It's crazy, you know, we came in here ready to do this and we did exactly what we planned on. We really got to have fun in the second half. It was a running clock, but, you know, we got to let, enjoy these last two quarters together. Fourth quarter, my last drive on defense at Loyola. I see the quarterback give the receiver a hand signal. He runs up, runs out. I jump in and I get a pick to close out my season. I thought it was great, you know, I was hoping I'd get one, and so I felt like it was pretty fitting, you know, go out with that. I think it means way more to the community and just the alumni, you know, just everybody was saying that we weren't good anymore, that Loyola's time was over, and this was kind of a statement for us to say, like, no, this isn't it, like, we're just getting started, you know, so hopefully next year they capitalize on this, keep going, and Jacoby and Peter and Taj and Harrison lead the team. Crazy, honestly, you know, it's the last game of high school. It's been a super long ride, you know, a fun one. This is bittersweet, you know, being able to, you know, get ready to start a new chapter, but, you know, having to leave one behind is, is always a, a difficult thing. It was really awesome just getting to see all my family, my closest friends there to watch me, getting to see some people come down from college to watch the game, so. It sucks that we had a shortened season, but I'm so glad I got to run out one last time with my brothers for my senior year. Today is prom. We weren't sure if we were gonna get one. So, I'm excited. When are we supposed to go over there? About three. Three? What time is it? 2.40. 2.40? You get ready now? All I was gonna say this before, but we should like make a TikTok Whereas no, like, no, no, just listen, just listen. No. We make a TikTok and it's all of us before, and you know, we're just chilling, and then we hit a speed. Yeah. <laughs> I, I want to do that. Yeah, this is my last big night with my high school friend. You know, everybody's going to be going their different ways after this. 
obviously we're still gonna be in touch, but people are gonna be on the East Coast, up in Washington, stuff like that. So this is it for us. Oh, you can just do like horse Well, well, yeah. I'm not gonna miss him because I'm down the street. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm here. He's I'm my a, rival. I'm in LA. UCLA. You know. So we gonna we for sure hitting games for sure. I know a good place to rent cars at, so I'm gonna probably pull up to the prom, pull up in a little Lamborghini. It'll be clean. It's beautiful. Pretty casual. I love it. You want to talk about the date or next question? Next question. Y'all can't come to this one. I'll, I'll, I'll catch y'all later though. Just had graduation. I'm here with my family now. We're finna just, you know, mingle a little bit. Graduation was fun. Dear Jeremiah Wright. Let's get it! It was crazy just getting to watch all my friends walk across the stage. It's wild just to think about how fast time has gone. It feels weird. I mean, it's just sinking in right now. Just like, man, can we get a do-over? I feel like we got cheated out of one year. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's hard to believe that the chapter is over. As a dad, you know, it's been so many moments. I'm just proud of the young man. He's starting to be and just growing into it. He's only starting his path. It's a blessing to have so many great things going on at the same time. And you know, just the support system that I have with my family, they're the ones that are there behind the scenes, you know, motivating me and pushing me forward to be able to do all these things. It's just an exciting time with him and the movie coming out right around the time that he's gonna be on campus. Looking forward to, you know, September, looking forward to some of the football games. All right, that's a wrap on high school. You know, it's almost time for Space Jam to drop, so we got a little bit of press lined up. Today I'm gonna be on Access Hollywood. What's going on guys? So you know we're here at Access Hollywood today. It's pretty crazy, you know, it's a show that I've watched since I was younger, so. We also got the premiere later on tonight, so it's exciting. Space Jam, a new legacy starring LeBron James is in theaters right now. Rising star Sierra Wright plays yeah. LeBron's son. Yeah. What's your nobody, honey? Bands on it. Congratulations, man. What Thank was you your so reaction much. when you got that call that you're gonna be playing on set? How it was through the roof, honestly. Like going from just playing regular football at Loyola and then being in a movie with LeBron, like it's super surreal. This being my first career, I had to step out and spend a lot of time on this fit. So I got a little, it's a little yellow suit, you know, a white t-shirt, pants on the backside. And I got some G-Phase on, you know what I'm saying? Some Air Force Ones. And then I'm rocking a little watch too, you know, you know, you know. I get asked about LeBron a lot. And the, the funniest thing is I get a lot of like DMs about him. Like, oh bro, can you send him this for me? Can you show him this? Just like a bunch of stuff like that. I tried to think about what today would look like, but this is still way bigger than I expected. It's time for the premiere. Y'all better go see it. I'm getting ready to leave, so packing all my stuff up right now. I gotta decide what I'm gonna take with me and what I'm going to leave behind. From one to 10, I'd probably rate my shoe game like seven or eight, but in the future, it's gonna be a 10 because I'm gonna have every exclusive pair that you can think of. First pair I gotta bring with me, gotta go with some Air Force Ones. Pretty regular, nothing serious. And then I gotta go with these right here, the Mocha Ones. I got these recently actually, and I, I've been wearing them a lot. Let's see, what's next? All right, I'm gonna bring these McQueens. See, these are a nice type of shoe that you'd wear where you gotta be nice and fancy. Blue velvet on there, real clean. The first people to get me into shoes were my friend Larry and his brother Keith. And I remember the first shoes they were wearing were some foam posits. Since then, I started loving shoes. I've been really into ones recently. My favorite shoes for Jordans, at least, probably like ones and 11s. I'll bring these 13s. I got these like two years ago. My mom got them for me. They've been real reliable. It's a good shoe to wear. Next, we gotta go with these 11s. The 11s are a shoe that I like to wear a lot. You know, it's a classic. The bread colorway is the most well-known colorway in any type of Jordan. Take me some Vans. You know, you gotta have some Vans. These are also some everyday type of shoes. You know, when you're on campus, you gotta do a lot of walking. Okay, let's think. 
the Off-White Fours. These are some really nice shoes. These aren't gonna come out all the time. I've only worn them a couple times. These are if you're gonna go somewhere really nice and you want people to be like, ooh, what are those? You know what I'm saying? That's this shoe right here. You know, I got all my shoes ready to go. You know, moving day is coming up. Super excited. It's moving day. I was up till like 4 a.m. last night. I can remember being 10 years old thinking, dang, I hope I can go to USC, watching Reggie Bush and people like that run around. Now it's time. Just sitting there thinking like, dang, this is the last day where I'm like living at home, you know? You know, you see all the shoes are in here. My dad's gonna meet us up there and my mom is driving with me. It's a surreal feeling, because I'm like, how do I even have a child old enough to be going to college? That's number one. This is my little brother, Clay. He just turned four yesterday. We just went to Disneyland. No, it's just, it's a great feeling. I know you're gonna be like incredible in life, so this is just the next step. So I'm, I'm excited. Hey. Eric's getting ready to go to college. He's gonna move out. How do you feel about it? A little bit sad. A little, a little bit. bit. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Yep, he goes he has to go? Yep. <laughs> a little bit. Because I'll miss you, but you're like right down the street. Playing in the Coliseum would be great. The Coliseum being one of the most famous stadiums in the world. It's a staple of LA and you know, it's high energy all the time, so I'm excited. All right. <laughs> I've always had my parents by my side and then having them in the stands, looking up to see them is gonna be great. I'm just looking forward to him experiencing that feeling. I mean, I know those butterflies are gonna be uh, floating in his stomach, but I know that's a feeling you will never, never ever really forget. So we're just looking forward to it. I know they play San Jose State. I don't know the exact date, but definitely be marked on the calendar. I'm ready for the next chapter. You know the vibes, fam. Listen, the drops don't stop and neither do the blessings. If you want to get drippy like your boy, you know you do, all you got to do is click the link over here. Also, don't forget to subscribe this away and check out more fire videos over here. You know what it is. It's the O-Way or No Way.